Welcome to the Airgun Exploration and Advancement Channel. On today's episode, we'll take a hard look at the Rapid Air Weapons HM-1000X in 357. We'll also check out the Aeon 6-24x50 SF Scope with the Field Target Radical. Sometimes, folks, you just don't have words. But since this is a review, I've got to come up with something. Since the day I unboxed the HM-1000X, it was evident that the folks down at Rapid Air Weapons put a lot of heart into making this rifle what it is today. With the forums abuzz of the Rapid Air Weapons and Aeon Scope, what better a venue to partner these two great machines? I invite you to come along with me today as we explore their potential. Before we head to the public range and check the RAW's accuracy at 50 and 100 yards, we're going to start out here in my backyard with the target set out to 30. We're going to review three pellets, JSB's Exact, H&N's Grizzly, and Air Venturi's Round Ball. Let's get to it and see how they do. Loading the RAW's magazine is relatively straightforward. You place it in your hand, face up. You take the transparent cover and you rotate it counterclockwise till it stops and hold it with your finger because it's spring loaded. Then. You just start dropping pellets in, one at a time. When you're done, cock your side lever, slide the magazine into place, return your side lever to its original position. It's that easy. By the looks of things, the Korean barrel selected for the RAW was intended to perform with the JSB exacts, and perform it did. Even with my mediocre eyesight struggling through the scope cam, it was pretty easy to stack pellets at 30 yards. Excellent group at 30 yards. Seven JSB exacts all through the same hole. Things are looking up for the Rapid Air Weapons HM-1000X. Let's have a look at the other two pellets and see how they do. When operating the side lever, I noticed right away that the Grizzly slid into the breech with a lot less resistance than did the exacts. I'm curious to see if this barrel will like the Grizzlies out to 50 yards, but so far, so good. The H&N Grizzly printed at just over an inch and a quarter center to center at 30 yards. In my opinion, plenty adequate for taking medium sized game at that distance. Let's move on to the round balls and see how they perform. So the round balls weren't totally round, 
Each ball had a little flat side on it. It sure made itself prevalent when I was trying to push them through the magazine and into the breech. On a couple of them, it sure was tough to get that cocking lever closed. But close it did, and the groups at 30 yards are fairly impressive. I'm excited to see what this one does at 50. Bravo, rapid air weapons. As it turns out, the 1000X has a very versatile barrel on it. The Air Venturi round balls grouped at one and a quarter inches, center to center, over a distance of 30 yards. Next, we're gonna move out to the public range and test the gun at 50 and 100 yards. But before we do, we're gonna have a quick look at the trigger testing and the sound testing. Unfortunately, my local public range, the Dade City Rod and Gun Club, was closed down for maintenance but I didn't want to delay the making of the video, so out into the country we go. They call this area the land of oak trees and azaleas, with the Florida live oak and water oak being the primary species here. Fortunately, I've got some friends in the country, and they were kind enough to let us utilize their property today. Not a bad place at all to spend an afternoon. They call it Little Africa. The Raw's trigger has been a gem since the get-go. The first stage is silky smooth and stops abruptly up against the second. It lets off with all the predictability and precision you'd expect from a rifle like this. Eight point four ounces. The proof's in the pudding. The raw ships with an aluminum moderator at the end of its barrel to quiet the rapport. In my opinion, making it totally backyard friendly. 94 and a half decibels, definitely. Recharging the raw was a piece of cake, thanks to the incorporated male foster fitting. Remove the dust cap, couple your female quick connect, and charge. The optional carbon fiber bottle on the RAW has a fill capacity of 475 cubic centimeters and a maximum fill pressure of 3,626 PSI. I was comfortable filling the RAW to the 3,500 PSI range. It's not a bad idea to leave yourself a little cushion for safety. At 50 yards, it should have come as no surprise that the exacts continued to perform. What you can't see here is that I'm experimenting with grip strength, shouldering pressure, and cheek weld pressure. <clears throat> You'll notice six of the seven shots went through less than a half inch hole. I think I'm onto something here with the raw, but I'm gonna postpone that conclusion. I'm certain now, I've got the raw figured out. Five of seven shots went through the same hole. Back and forth I go, light hold, firm hold, light hold, firm hold. Without a doubt, a lighter hold lets the raw recoil and those pellets just all fall into place, less than half inch groups at 50 yards. Pretty good groups at 50 yards with the JSB exacts. Any pellet that didn't go through the same hole definitely wasn't the fault of the guns, it was mine. The recoil on the 357 is quite a bit more than you'd experience in a 17722 or 25. And if you don't hold it just right, squeeze the trigger just right, you can see those reticles bounce around on the target and the pellets tend to wander a little bit. Boy, was I excited for the Grizzlies seeing that.
we'll call the Grizzlies a 30-yard pellet. Too bad about the H&N Grizzlies. The group didn't hold together very well at 50 yards. My point of aim across all seven shots was right there. And the group looks like it's going to be about four inches, maybe a little bit better center to center. Don't think that's a very responsible pellet for taking game at 50. Let's move on to the round balls, see if we can do any better. Ugh. Mulligan that flyer, and the flat-sided round balls are shooting a two and a half inch group at 50 yards. Who'd have thought? Looks like another four inch group with the round balls at 50 yards. Too bad. I was kind of hoping that they'd perform a little bit better being as what we saw them do at 30. But it is what it is. So out to 100 we go with the JSBs and see if they can hold together. A hundred yards is a long way to fly at Diablo Pellet. I'm focusing on so many things at once to make things happen, and the rod didn't let me down. Breathe and hold. Shoulder and cheek pressure. Steady, slow trigger squeeze. As far as the 1000X is concerned, there's no such thing as safe firming inside of 100 yards. 100 yards, Rapid Air Weapons 357 HM1000X. I'm no pro shooter or anything, but uh, this looks to be about a two and a half inch group by seven pellets out of the magazine with the exacts. Uh, there's six holes here, but I definitely fired seven and I did see two fly through the same hole. I think it was kind of right in this vicinity here, but this is pretty exciting stuff. You know, it's a little breezy out today. It's very humid, you know, not great shooting conditions here in central Florida, but uh, kind of like we talked about before, any inconsistencies here, I think have a lot more to do maybe with me and any manufacturing differences or flaws in the pellets here. But this is very impressive and this is a lot of fun. So there's no doubt that the raw is accurate, but is it powerful and does it offer shot to shot consistency? Impressive to say the least. From a 3500 PSI film, the optional carbon fiber bottle on the raw yielded 49 shots with an average muzzle velocity of 700 feet per second for 88.17 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle, more than twice that of your typical high-power PCP air rifle. Not a believer yet? Our three pellets tore through 16 pounds of calibrated ballistic gelatin. Each penetrated over 19 inches and emerged out the back of the gelatin to hit my backstop. Even at 100 yards, these pellets retained enough energy to break bone. In 357, the 1000X is no toy. With all this talk of the RAW's accuracy and power, it wouldn't be fair not to give the Aeon scope props. Everything about it was smooth and precise and operated just as it should. Even with flexibility enough for my eyes. Parallax was adjustable from 10 yards to infinity and I had a clear sight picture every bit of the way. Not at all bad for a scope costing half as much as others in my collection.
When you can sail three shots through the same hole at 100 yards, you've really got something special on your hands. It's kind of like I said, sometimes you just don't have words. If you enjoyed this review and want to encourage me to make more like it, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video.